Oh, you startled me. Good evening. I was just reading my favorite book. Have I ever told you the story of a man? One can say it began with a big bang. <laughs> On to the show. Enjoy the history of man? I thought you might. I always do. <laughs> anyway, the story doesn't end there. On to Mesopotamia. Eventually, the Neanderthals started settling down to set up large scale farming. And with these permanent settlements, they began to establish their own homes and their land. A good job! 
Eventually, a primitive form of writing called cuneiform was developed. And with writing came laws. Hard laws. Hey! The hard laws of King Hammurabi. After a long journey through the harsh desert, a home was found in what would one day become ancient Egypt, on the banks of the Nile River. <laughs> At the height of Egypt's power, Pharaoh Khufu would go on to build the Great Pyramids of Giza, where he would one day be buried to be reunited with his gods. And what a great pyramid it is! <laughs> Good work! Looks like it's time to move in. That's curtains for Khufu. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you again, boy. That's good. I could use a sparring partner. I'll make a mummy out of you. Come on, then, boy. Hit me. Hit me. Good hit. On to Greece. Here's a familiar sight, the Trojan War. I guess they weren't horsing around. <laughs> Everything the Greeks did was in honor of their three main gods, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. So then I said, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> guys, guys, check this out. 
In honor of the great god Zeus, I declare the Olympic Games open! But who will light the Olympic flame? You know, I used to be an Olympic level biker. There were some who even called me Grease Lightning. Woo! To roll! Legend tells that Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, two babies who were nurtured by a she wolf. Such cute babies. Unfortunately, Romulus wanted all the glory for himself. Poor Remus. <laughs> what a way to start Rome. Perhaps Rome is most famous for the Colosseum where gladiators were pitted against one another, their fates decided by the Emperor at the time. Caesar, who took a stab at leading Rome. Too bad he was stabbed 27 times. <laughs> Fluffy, I'm Rome. I mean, I'm home. <laughs> Fluffy, did I ever tell you about medieval times? It's a long one, but don't worry, we've got all night. <laughs> Vikings were known for raiding English monasteries at this time. <laughs> Oh, those Scandinavian scallywags, always smashing stuff. <laughs> but let's jump ahead to a lighter time in the Middle Ages, when knights and chivalry were abound. Oh, here's one now, training for the hardy sport of jousting. I can't train for the joust without my horse. Oh, horse! <laughs>
Onward! <laughs> And they all live happily ever after. The end. But what happens next, mister? Oh, Timmy, we haven't gotten that far yet. But the future is up to you. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> 